All right, welcome back, family. You want to know my little thoughts on Donald Trump selling these Bibles, these God bless the U.S. Bibles for, what is it, about $60. Now, anybody that know me know I've been saying this for a long time about Democrat, Republican, voting, the B system, does your votes really matter? The fishy things that go on. Now, I'm going to say one other thing I always say. Don't nothing go on that the Holy, the Holy Spirit don't know about. There is nobody put in place that the Holy Spirit have not allowed to be put in place. Everybody that you see, whether you're talking about from the president down to the government, whoever, it's all a part of our Heavenly Father's plan. Let's get that right off the top. Now, me and my old man just talking about all these different Bibles that's out now. All these different translations that's out now. Which is going to continue to cause more and more confusion. That's why I don't buy every everybody's Bible. Somebody catch that later. When you look at this Bible, okay, you'll you'll see what in there. The Constitution. I'm going to make a point with this. The Bill of Rights. The Declaration of the Declaration of Independence. The Pledge of Allegiance. Okay. Think about it. I think they got the lyrics to that song, God Bless America, off in it. Now, what did I show y'all about the Freemasonry Bible not too long ago? When me and Steve E was doing a, a segment on that. Man want to put their stamp on everything. Man wants to be God. I told y'all, they even got a Queen James Bible. Like, y'all remember when that Bible came out? I blew so many people's mind because they didn't know it was actually a Bible out. The Queen James version of the Bible that was sold on Amazon, probably still on there. Why are you saying that like this, JT? Before any government was established, there was the Holy Spirit. Now, who you going to pledge and take an oath to? Before a government ever came into place, marriage was already established. So these Bibles that's being sold for about, what, $60, $59.99, I might well say $60. Supposed to be translated also, sticking more to the King James Version. What is it? What, what is it? Just making money. Hmm. So you got that Bible, and then there's another Bible. Um, they, I think they call it Lincoln's Bible. The one everybody swear on when they take their oath and swear Lincoln's Bible. Obama used it at the inauguration. I think he was sworn in on the, um, Lincoln's Bible. Notice they call these Bibles they name. Now, I know you can say the same thing about King James. You know, King James version. Of, that's why it's called version of the Bible. The NIV version. King James version. You see what I'm saying? It's always going to say the version, which lets you know translated, translated, translated. Just like a comment I just read about Brother P.P. Drawings. He said, there's so many things that's not in the King James Bible. And I totally agree. That's why I just put that script up in the live, uh, not, not the live chat video. It was a video I did about my daddy. I said, John, verse 21, verse 25. No, excuse me, John chapter 21, verse 25. It's showing you once again that even the King James Bible couldn't hold all the writings, all the recordings of Christ. And then there was another comment that was made so deep because a lot of people, we was talking about the Kundalini and some of these different other names and, and things that's in, the, that's in other Bibles or you may say other removed books, how Satan took what was already good 
You know what I'm saying? And switched it to being demonic. That's why people argue so much about the Kundalini spirit, the yoga, you know, healing yourself, your chakras, uh, all on, on and on and on and on, but not to jump off and all that. So when you start seeing people coming with their own version, like this, like this um, Bible that Donald Trump got, I don't want one. I don't, I don't own one. And I don't want one. I'm cool with what I have. Mainly, I listen directly to the Holy Spirit. The word is in my heart. But that's my little two cents on there, man. I wouldn't. I, I don't care enough for buying it. Don't want it. Um, Man, it's just going to continue. We're going to continue to see more and more Bibles come out. So y'all give me y'all thoughts on it. The Bible being sold for $60. You know, how many people going to buy it? And how many people going to see something in there that's not in the most highest word? Somebody catch that later. I'm gone. Shalom.